In the real world, dumb people need safety guards so that they don't make dumb decisions. You don't want someone to take on a car loan that they can't pay back because then everyone loses. Likewise, developers need safety guards like static typing so that they don't end up with dumb bugs. For the record, I'm not a senior developer. I'm just a big dumb dumb. So just give me a second to explain. A lot of beginner developers learn JavaScript as their first language, which is great because it'll quickly teach them why static typing is so important and why TypeScript was created in the first place. But but even for someone like me who really prefers static typing, TypeScript can still be an issue. The problem is that in TypeScript, types are optional, when in many other languages, they are not optional. And I already know what you're thinking. How can you possibly blame my sweet, sweet TypeScript when you're the one who's using it wrong? And I want you to know that you're exactly right. It was my fault. Yes. TypeScript system can be made pretty strict, but people are always looking for the easy way out. No implicit any is a setting in TypeScript that can prevent objects from being inferred as the any type. But the problem is that that's not gonna prevent a dummy like me from explicitly setting the type of something to any. I remember it like it was yesterday. I first told myself, I don't feel like fixing these type errors. So just this one time, I'm going to use any. It's like taking a hit of heroin and saying, but I'm only going to do it this one time. Before I knew it, I was throwing any's everywhere. Look how fast I'm able to code this thing up. It just feels so good. I coded up the entire front end and back end of this code sandbox in three weeks. Yes, I use TypeScript on the back end. Maybe if this was something I could write once and never maintain, that would have been fine. But I kept adding functionality and it became extremely painful. But this could have actually been prevented. Yes, there is a no explicit any not in TypeScript, but via an ESLint rule. But using that rule would have implied that I know what I'm doing. And also, the majority of TypeScript projects do not use that rule. And also, the fact that that's an ESLint rule kind of proves that TypeScript is just a linter disguised as a language. But moving on from that, the problem is I was able to go fast at first, but the time in fixing things, fixing bugs, having to run the code just to see what the type interface is, ended up wasting more time in the long run. But even if you try your absolute best, given the nature of JavaScript being dynamically typed, you're gonna end up with events and other objects that are casted as any. And the time it takes you to figure out what the type is actually ends up slowing you down. To paraphrase this fantastic video I watched on the topic, TypeScript is only successful as the ecosystem that supports it. Given that types are optional, there's always going to be painful moments when you're working with some libraries and frameworks and in TypeScript, you end up doing that a lot. A lot of these things could be applied to Python as well. I personally would not want to build a super large backend in Python. Type annotations are great, but it's not enough. Now, I'm still going to use TypeScript for my backend because at least it gives me the choice. You have the option to move very quickly if you want to, faster than other languages like Java for sure. And as an American, I'm all about having the freedom to make choices that probably will screw me over in the long run.